This person grieving says, yeah, well, I thought so. <laughs> Have no answer, huh? Well, you ain't no preacher. Oh. You preached. You preach to be seen of men, she says. Mm -hmm. You don't have what it takes to be a preacher. <gasps> like I said, there are preachers and there are capital letters preachers. Mm -hmm. I really waste my time with your garbage. Mm. Why you keep listening to it? That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. <laughs> Why you listen to it then? That's right. Obviously, something got you writing. You see what I mean? That's right. <laughs> They are complaining and fuss and cuss me out and then write. Then write it. You know you love this stuff. That's right. Yeah. That's Listen, right. come on, Dan. I really waste my time with your garbage. All right. But it ain't over till the fat lady sings. All right, says. fat lady, start singing. That's right. <laughs> Let's have it. A preacher is supposed to have control over his tongue and preach God's holy word with reverence towards his holy name. The, pre the preacher is not supposed to have control over his tongue. No, he's not, sir. No, he's let, not. let me show you who's supposed to have control over his tongue. That's right. Give me the first chapter of the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah, that's, right. that's it. Mm -hmm. you, you see, you, you thought you had something, didn't you? That's right. <laughs> no. Jeremiah the, chapter 1. The woman right. got to control her tongue. That's right. The word of God told you, miss. That's right. Amen. Fight. That's right. <laughs> Got a slow leak going on. That's right. Why did God tell you have a meek and quiet spirit? spirit? Amen. Now, the preacher's not supposed to have control over his tongue. No, he's Jeremiah not. In fact, one in after you give me Jeremiah, you better give me the sixth chapter of the book of Isaiah. Isaiah I guess we're going to focus on the tongue. That's right. Come that's on, right. son. Go to work. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my that's mouth. That's why my mouth is so activated. That's why I run so much and dive into the Old Testament, into the New Testament, and strip the Bible down, and take it apart and break it down. Then because I don't, because God put forth his hand. And touched my mouth. And touched my mouth. And God put his word in my mouth and told me to preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, approve, rebuke, and then God with all long suffering and doctrine for the day will come as they won't endure sound doctrine. So yes, I don't have control over my mouth. My mouth was being well controlled and well governed by God. By God. Man. That's why you don't like it. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Don't See, like why you pastor tell you what you like to hear? Like to hear. God tell you what you don't want to hear, That's right. but what you got to hear. Amen. Amen. Listen, if you don't hear the gospel that come out of my mouth and no bed, you're going to hell. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. Huh? That's right. And yeah, write me back. That's right. Come on, let's have it. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. Then what? And the Lord said unto the me. The Lord said. Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. That's what got me blowing and barking. That's right. Lord, thank God I fill it all down within. Well, that's right. Huh? Amen. Isaiah chapter 6. I have put my words in thy mouth. Give me the sixth chapter of the book of Isaiah. Isaiah let's see how did it get there. Then said I, woe is me. Woe is me. I am undone. I am undone. Because I am a man of unclean lips. I am lips. a man of unclean lips. And I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean you see, when God sent a man, when God called a man, he called an unclean man. That's right. He ain't clean yet. No, no. God called him. He don't send him at the same time he called him. No, no. No, he called him. He called an unclean man. That's right. You dumb preacher that said, God don't do no unclean temple. You liar. That's a lie. When you receive the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost comes in you that's unclean so he can clean you up. That's right. You're already clean. You don't need the Holy Ghost. That's right. Yeah. That's, That's right. right. I am a man of what? Of unclean lips. And, and I dwell in the midst, I dwell of, in the midst of, of a people of unclean lips. For mine That's eyes have, my seen, the eyes king, have the seen the king, the Lord of hosts. Then flew one of the seraphims unto me. And what did he do? Having a live coal in his hand. And? Which he had taken him. with the tongs from off the altar. Yes. And he laid it upon my mouth. My God, he laid some live coal on the mouth of the prophet. That's what it made his mouth real hot. That's Amen. right. It activated it. That's, That's right. right. Huh? It's That's like right. when you eat some food that's too hot, you, you, you start. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You, you, you respond in a way that you normally don't. That's right. It takes God to put live coal in your mouth. Amen. What you mean, the anointing of God or the presence of God or the hand of God is going to be laid upon your mouth. That's right. And when he laid his, his word upon your mouth, the spirit purify your tongue. What you mean it purifies your tongue? All your former beliefs that contradict God, God make you spit it out. That's right. That's right. You spit it out. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Now God restructure your tongue to give you the tongue of the land. That's, That's right. That you may speak a word in season to them that are weary. Amen. Glory to God. And he God. laid it upon he my laid mouth. He laid his hand upon, upon my mouth. And said, Lo, and this said, Lo, touched thy lips. This what? Hath touched thy lips. You see, the seminary school didn't touch my lips. Oh, no. The reverend didn't touch my lips. Uh, Not even the devil touched my lips. That's right. God Almighty touched my lips. Uh, Did you hear what I tell you? Yeah. God Almighty, the creator of the world, yeah. the one that you claim you're jumping and shouting and singing about, the yeah. creator of the universe touched my lips. That's right. Jehovah, Jehovah. Yahweh. Go ahead, man. Uh, he touched my lips. That's right. Hey! 
Then said, What? This that touched this my have lips. touched my lips. And thine iniquity is taken away. When this touch your lips, your the this that this. touch your lips, your lips will become that. That's right. Hmm? That's right. Then this will become that. Amen. That's right. All right, Dan, come on. A preacher is supposed to have control over his tongue, she says. Yeah. And preach God's holy word with reverence towards his holy name. Uh -huh. And his conversation should be holy, even as God is holy. Yes. I ain't seen that with you yet. Okay, I can live with that. That's right. <laughs> if you haven't seen it, keep watching. Amen. What are you looking for? Billy Graham? <laughs> what are you looking for? Mr. Ike? Mr. Ike. What are you looking for? That's Kressler right. Old Nickel? Old Dollar? That's right. That's what are you right. looking for? T.D. Jakes? Woman, you loose? That's right. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, man. The apostle. God gave me the tongue of heaven. That's right. The Lord God has given me. You see, listen at this. In Isaiah chapter 50 and verse 4. The Lord God has given me. Have given me. The tongue. The tongue. Of the learned. And the apostle Paul the said, though I be rude in speech. That's right. Get not in knowledge. That's right. I know many times you don't like what we say or how it's said. It don't matter. No, Amen. No, no. Bottom line is, is it the truth? That's it. If it's the truth, you got to obey it. That's right. Amen. I don't have to sound for you to like it. No, no. Not supposed to like it no way. Amen. You That's got right. to love it. Got to love Amen. it. Listen at me, viewer that wrote me this. That's right. You got to love Gino Dennis. Love it. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. You got to love Gino Dennis. That's right. That's yes. Right. You, did you know that? Yes. Yeah. You got to love Gino Dennis. Yeah. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I know that make you upset, but if you don't love oh, me, no. you will go to hell. That's right. That's right. Sure. That's right. Sure you will. Yeah. Amen. Regardless of how you don't like us, you don't like the way we sound. If you don't love Gino Jennings, that's right. You going to hell? No, that's right. That's right. All right, come on, let's read some more of her letters. This person says, "Sir, you know the Bible." Yes. Satan knows also and trembles at the word of God. Yes. Think I don't know my Bible? Try me. By the way, okay. The Bible might not have said anything about women preaching. It was always men. However, it did not say a woman can't preach. If you are, if you as a preacher can't preach, someone has to do it. If it be the women to bring God's word, reverence and respect, then so be it. You should not, you should not be mocking people, cause you are not any better than another. I shouldn't mock them. Give me the Book of Kings. <laughs> That's right. She's upset. I shouldn't mock them. Give me the book of Kings. Amen. Let's get one of our brothers. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. Brother In Elijah. Kings chapter 18. She said, I shouldn't mock him. And we're I'm wrong for mocking him. That's what she said. Give chapter and verse again, son. First Kings chapter 18 and at verse 27. Everybody all right? Amen. Amen. All right, let's have it. And it came to pass that Elijah mocked them. What? And it came to pass that Elijah mocked them. The word of God said, whatsoever things are written a four times. Are written for our learning. I read it. That's right. I learned it. Learned it. They prophet Elijah mocked him. And it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked him. He mocked him and said, Cry aloud. Oh. Cry loud. That's right. For he is a God. Oh, he is a God. Either he is talking. Oh, uh, maybe he's what? Talking. Maybe your God is talking. Or he is pursuing. Or he's pursuing. Or he is in a journey. Or he's in a journey. Or peradventure he's sleeping. Maybe your God is asleep. And must be awake. And need to be awakened. And they Amen. cried aloud. That's and right. they start getting upset with him. That's right. That's Just right. like she's upset with me. That's right. Now. You said uh, there's not in the Bible that a woman shouldn't preach. Uh -huh. When God sent a person, a person must be sent with the word of God in them. Right. Give me John 3, 33. John 3, 33. Let's get that. Amen. Amen. We'll get John 3, 33. Then we'll get John 3, 34 as well. John chapter 3 and at verse 34. All right, son, come on. He that has received this testimony, it said to a seal that God is true. Now, mm -hmm. you got to receive the testimony of God. Testimony. Words. Yeah. Testimony have twofold meaning. Right. To bear witness of mm -hmm. and to declare the word of God or to preach the word of God. That's right. The woman at the well testified. Yeah. She wasn't preaching the word. Right. Right. On the day of Pentecost, right. it is written, I Peter testified and exalt right. saying, Amen. save yourself. Mm -hmm. Something different was going on. That's That's right. Right. Listen at this. He that had received this testimony had said to his seal that God is true. Yes. For he whom God had sent. She whom God had sent. He whom God had sent. She. He. She. He. She. He. 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 No, your mama. He. he. That's right. <laughs> your mama. He. he. I said your mother. He. 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 he said. Your mother. He. he. Your wife. He. 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 
Your sister. He. he. No, he said. Your daughter. He. he. Grandmama. He. Aunt. He. God's order. This is God's order. It's God's order. That's right. That's right. Every woman that don't stop preaching to go to hell. Go to That's hell. Right. That's right. Go to hell, sir. You can call me male chauvinistic all you want. Mm -hmm. I had one person write me and say, see, you hate women. A woman must have done something mighty terrible to you. <laughs> no, no. I came from the womb of a beautiful woman. Right. My mother. I had an excellent mother, excellent father. Mm -hmm. And I married a beautiful woman. I didn't marry a man. Oh, no. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. Say it again. Go ahead, brother. That's right, sir. I had some fellow write me from Iowa. Mm, that's right. Heard the broadcast. Mm, mm. <laughs> Wrote me a letter and told me somehow he loved the sound of my voice. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> my Lord. And asked me, was it any possibilities <laughs> that him and I can get together? Mm. Homie, don't play that. That's oh, right. No. God said, show yourself a what? Man. man. Show yourself a what? A man. A what? Man. Man. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Don't go there. Some women preachers right be so upset. They say that we keep the women down. We suppress them. No, we don't. No, we don't. No, we don't. No. We believe that every woman in the earth have their prospective place. Their God-given place. Not just in the world. Put in the church. That's right. That's right. Certainly. 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 The woman should be respected. Absolutely. The woman should be honored. Absolutely. The woman should be treated like a queen. Yeah. Right. The woman should not be verbally or physically abused. Right. The woman should not be taken advantage of. Right. The woman should not be used. Right. The woman is not a maid. That's right. That's right. Amen. That's right. The woman should not be talked down to. That's right. That's right. The woman should not be grabbed. That's right. Amen. So what you talking? That's right. That's right. Amen. Any more gripes you got? Oh, she got some more. All right, come on, so I can knock off. You should not be mocking people, she says, because you are not any better than another. Oh, shucks. Think about it, she says. All right, I think. Wait a minute. I'm done thinking. Come on. <laughs> think about it. Your preaching bores me. Hey, listen, if my preaching bore you, why That's are you listening? Right. I'm listening. That's right. I'm the ultimate. That's right. Amen. Why are you listening? That's right. That's right. That's right. Obviously, it's not that boring not if that you're boring. listening. That's right. That's now, right. you write me back and tell me how much you love it. That's right. Amen. Come on, Dad. Your preaching bores me. Yes. Then she says, read this on your next, on your next telecast on Sunday. I'll be watching you. <laughs> I don't make no sense. She loves it. She loves it. You love it, girl. Love you it. know you love it. That's right. She loves it. This is the women's convention, and I want to dedicate part of this broadcast That's to right. you, girl. That's right. <laughs> you go, girl. Lord help you, God. All right, then. That's enough. Fellas, I want to leave you with Acts 2:38. Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Repent. Repent and be baptized. Glory to God. Amen. Repent. Repent. My sister that wrote this letter, God help your heart. There's a whole lot of women in here that felt the same way you did. That's right. Mm -hmm. A whole, not just here, but thousands around felt the same way. Amen. My God, but you've got to take this or else be damned. That's it. Repent now. Repent. You repent. And be baptized. When you repent, you got the sorrow for your sins. That's right. The sorrow before, uh, of all the sins you committed. And you must go before God and repent. Humble yourself. That's it. Right. Repentance is not just saying, I'm sorry. That's right. Not at all. Amen. You must feel that remorse within. Because you want God, your creator, to forgive you of the sins that you committed, regardless of what those sins were. That's right. So the word of God says, repent. Repent and be baptized. How? Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Not be sprinkled. That's right. That's right. Not have Daddy Grace the house of all prayer, or the house of prayer for all people. Shoot you down with a hose. Right. Not that. No, not baptize Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. No. Not bow your head and raise your hands. No. No, no. Repent and be baptized. Every one of you. That got the pulpit too. Every one of you. How? 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Not Je not Jesus name. No. 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 Not be baptized in Jesus name. No. Not be baptized in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's right. No. Mm -mm. You got to keep it just like the book says it. And be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't add Christ. no word to it. Right. Don't take no word from it. That's right. Leave it just like that. That's it. Peter used the word Jesus Christ. Paul used the word Lord Jesus. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Not Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. No. No, no. Jesus Christ or Lord no. Jesus. Lord Nothing Jesus. else. That's right. You got anything else? Go back. Okay. Amen. Go back. Go back. Go back and do your first work over. That's right. Then Peter said unto them, do what? Repent. Repent. And be baptized every one of you. And be baptized every one of you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For what? For the remission of sins. And remission means removing. For the removing of your sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Why? For the promise is unto you. The promise is unto you. And to your children. And to those. And to all that are far off. Even as many. As the Lord our God shall call. The word of God say, viewer, the Lord have spoken. Mm -hmm. He have called the whole earth from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. Thank you for listening, brothers and sisters.